This is the weekly rundown where we cover rig counts, oil prices, and trending news for the week. And I'm your host, Greg Williams. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, wherever in the world you may be listening. I'm your host, Greg Williams, and this is the weekly rundown. Crude is seeing volatile trade since Russia's late February invasion of Ukraine. The Biden administration last week announced it would release 180 million barrels of crude at a place of, uh, at a place, how about at a pace, at a pace of 1 million barrels a day for six months from the U.S. Strategic Petroleum Reserve. The International Energy Agency this week said its member nations would join in releasing another 60 million barrels that would be matched by the U.S. as part of its 180 million barrel release. Natural gas prices are at their highest price since December 2008. With a rise in coal prices, tight supplies, and global worries about energy supplies contributing to the price gain of more than 70% for this year. So let's see what our top articles are for this week. To kick things off, uh, by the way, um, our sponsors for this segment of the show are Cleargistics. We'll share more about them later on. But um, yeah, to start off with, Exxon plans to invest $10 billion in the fourth project offshore Guyana. Exxon Mobil Corp. this past Monday decided to invest $10 billion in a fourth oil production project off the coast of Guyana, the largest in the South African, uh, South American, not South African, the largest in the South American country. Guyana is one of Exxon's tops. I cannot speak today. It's terrible. Mm-hmm. Guyana is one of Exxon's top bets for future production growth with as much as 1.2 million barrels per day of oil and gas expected to be produced with partners by 2027. Guyana's a huge hotspot right now. Lots of work. Boar lands new contracts and extensions. Boar Drilling Limited announced it has been awarded new contracts and extensions for five of its premium jack-up drilling rigs. These awards increased the company's backlog by approximately 2,000 to two, 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 2,530 days, excluding optional periods. Merce bags long-term work for the Voyager. Merce Drilling has been awarded contracts with Shell for the provision of the seventh-generation drillship Merce Voyager for drilling services offshore multiple countries. The contracts are expected to commence in April 2022 with a total firm duration of one year. The total contract value is approximately USD $107.5 million, including a mobilization fee, but excluding integrated services expected to be provided and potential performance bonuses. The contract includes an additional one-year option. So a bit more about our sponsors, Cleargistics. They are the team that is intelligently connecting the field to the office. They provide smart, value-driven solutions to maximize their customers' investment. If you have a process that is being slowed down or hampered by paper, then this is the team you need to be speaking with. Go check them out at www.cleargistics.com. Stephen Toops is the president and CEO. Nice fellows down to earth. Really looking forward to help folks fix their issues. That's www.cleargistics.com. C-L-E-A-R. G-I-S-T-I-X dot com, and they will get you sorted out. Greece plans gas exploration in Ionian Sea. Greece plans to accelerate gas exploration in its western and southern waters in a fresh drive to tap domestic resources amid soaring energy prices and concerns over Russian gas supplies. This is all coming from the government sources this past Tuesday. Greece has produced small quantities of oil in the past and has attempted to explore its hydrocarbon potential, but low crude prices in previous years and a shift to green energy have stalled its exploration plans. Russia's invasion of the Ukraine and fears over gas supplies in Europe have exacerbated a jump in prices. 
forcing the European Union to seek ways to reduce its reliance on Russian gas by two-thirds this year and end in um, before 2030. So, KCA Tag um, awarded a drilling contract for Oh, and their power is going to be using power off the grid. Neptune Energy announced they have awarded a contract to drill the Z-17 well in Adorf Carboniferous Gas Field Carboniferous. Carboniferous. That's the first time I've said that word, I think, out loud. Carboniferous Gas Field, Northwest Germany, to KCA Doitag. Um, operated with power from the grid, KCA Doi Tag's rig will use electrical motors in place of diesel-driven generators. Well, you won't be able to do it unless you have an electrical motor, that's for sure. They say that this will remove an estimated 1,000 tons of CO2 emissions from the drilling operation. Well, that's so special. Let's get that uh, CO2 out of there. But hey, if it runs off the grid and you still drill the well and you still get resources... It works out for both sides of it, then it's all good, isn't it? All right. Now it is time for our oil prices. As of Monday, April the 11th, today, WTI is at $94.27. That is a $5 a barrel high um, above our last weekly rundown. Brent is at $98.81. That is $6 higher than last week so natural gas is at as we explained earlier it's pretty high um, right now it's at six dollars and 27 cents per 1 million BTU this is a one dollar increase from last week's show all right on to our rig count um, for the North American rig count the United States was up 16 rigs to a total of 689, while Canada was down 13 to 111 working rigs. Our rig count was sponsored by Relinx Media. If you're looking to launch a brand, reach more people, or just get some additional visibility, then head over to their website at www.relinksmedia.com. That is www.relynxmedia.com. Again, top-tier visibility without breaking the budget. As of today, our little podcast has been downloaded over 2,000 times. We have multiple podcasts, but anyway, 2,000 times is, is a great benchmark for us. I want to extend a huge thank you to everyone for listening. Just a reminder, um, all of this information and more can be found at www.riglinks.com, where our goal is to simply connect people. And that's it for this week's rundown. If you're interested in sponsoring the show, then drop us an email at info at riglinks.com. Have a good week wherever you are. Stay safe. This has been the Weekly Rundown hosted by Greg Williams and published by riglinks.com. If you're interested in becoming a partner or sponsoring the show, then drop us an email at info at riglinks.com. That is I-N-F-O at R-I-G-L-Y-N-X dot com.